Hey guys, what is going on? It's Lightning Fox HD, and we're back again in GTA Online. And we're here in my house at the moment. In the time between playing, I have managed to buy a house. It wasn't a particularly expensive one though, it was just, I think it was the £126,000 one. And I got the free car as well. So this video here is episode 5 of the Let's Play series and my controller switched off for some reason there. I've got a wired controller so I don't even know what happened there. But I decided to leave that little bit in there because it was pretty funny I think. So I decided for this video we would do some survival um, because sometimes just driving around, you know it's hit and miss, sometimes you don't always get the goods, sometimes you can just literally be driving around and it's just like watching single player. So I thought I'd put it on survival, get some people playing. I've cut it up so that you don't have to sit through the loading screens because literally I was sitting in the lobby I think for about 4 minutes that I've just cut out there. This was a 19 minute video at one point and every bit that I cut out was pretty much loading screens. So I was sitting there for about 4 minutes and nobody was joining and then it, everybody joined all at once and we were sitting there waiting for it to load and it wouldn't so I backed out went in a new one. It doesn't take too long for people to join on this one and then it does load perfectly fine. So I'm pretty happy with how GDA is playing at the moment. I, I mean I was there on day one and I was playing it and I know how bad it was. I mean I think yeah the first day I, I didn't actually get in the game. I had that stupid loading glitch. But now it seems as if the matchmaking's working a lot quicker and you can actually get people into a game. That's been my mi biggest problem up until now. Now that's sorted out, I'm pretty happy with how it is. So my strategy for survival is usually the same. Uh, let everybody else do the hard work and me just mob up the people who are struggling. Unfortunately, it doesn't always play out that way though. I decided to go up here and instantly regretted it when I started getting shot. Um, most of the time I'll just run around. I keep, or at least I try to keep one eye on the minimap. But when things start getting more hectic, I forget to look at it. And that sort of negligence leads to you being dead pretty quick. I was lucky I got the melee hit there. Didn't even know he was there. I think he actually spawned in front of us. And that was a pretty sweet uh, kill by one of the people on my team. So I picked up the health there. But um, you can see I instantly get decimated. Um, I would... To be honest with you, it was one of those moments where I neglected to look at the minimap. I didn't realise that I was surrounded. And I ended up finishing that round with four kills. Luckily, the rest of the team managed to sort it out. I decided to cut out um, the in-between bits. I had it on the cinematic camera, but I didn't ask anyone's permission to have the film in. I didn't speak to anyone in the match. Um, so I thought I would just cut it out, keep the camera focused on me. At this point, I was actually playing with headphones on and I didn't realise what the tap on was. It was uh, over in the corner. It sounded as if it was a helicopter or something. Uh, the propeller hitting the side. One of the cool things about survival is that you can actually leave the uh, initial start area a little bit to get kills like that. feels a little bit safer when you're strafing around the outside than being caught up right in the middle. Sometimes when you're just like this, the enemies can spawn right in front of you and you can be surrounded in an instant. So it's probably a better strategy to keep towards the edges. And here I'm just taking cover and taking whatever shots I can get. I mean, this is a pretty bad example of uh, survival for me. I did around a couple of days ago and got to round eight a wave eight, uh, which is the highest I've ever got to, and I actually play quite well. This uh, I feel as if I play pretty bad. I mean, I'm getting shot there, and I didn't even know where from. And then I tried to manually aim and completely miss. And I'm not really managing my health too well. I've got no armor. I'm down to half health. I'm just sitting there out in the open. Really, I'm taking cover on the wrong side of that. So. But I guess it's only once you're assessing it afterwards that you can really appreciate those things. Sometimes I get caught up in it in the moment and that was a pretty cool roll there though for a kill. I did actually record live commentary to go alongside this but a lot of it was just silence where I'm not really saying anything because I'm concentrating on the game. Climb up here again but the wave was already over. I don't know what I was intending to do though because 
I'd had a bad round. So this round starts and I thankfully remember to pick up the health, this guy almost got it. <laughs> I don't actually know if you can pick it up as well as other people, I don't know if it disappears when somebody else picks it up, I haven't really paid enough attention. So at this point I'd already realised that being out in the open was bad for us, so I thought I would come over here, one of the edges, take some cover and try and kill some enemies, but you'll see on the minimap. Nobody spawned over here and I was pretty much just standing here, doing nothing. So again, I, I decided to get in at the fray. When you get 10 respect points per kill, it's worth just getting stuck in, I think. Most of the time you can sort of dodge the bullets. As soon as you start getting hit, you can roll out of the way, try and take cover, and recoup some of your lost health at least. Uh, there are some people who I've played with who have tried to stay around the outside and just get the overall experience based on everybody else playing, but the the game's difficult with four people, so if you've got three people playing, then it makes it even harder. So here I notice that there's a vehicle coming, and I'm totally focused on that and end up getting shot in the back of the head. But this is a cool place to be at this moment. Lots of bad guys spawned, got a couple of kills. Well, I come over here, and this is one of the irritating things I nearly get killed because of that stumble there. Shouldn't have really happened on that little bit, I don't think. Try and take out the guys in the car. And get clipped in the back of the head and dead again. So you can see it's not a very good round. Or session, rather. Finish that on 11 kills, I guess that's okay. Could have been a lot better though. And you can see the dynamically forming puddles. It's one of the really enjoyable little details of Grand Theft Auto, I think. When it rains, it properly rains, and it has an environmental impact. And how it affects the handling of the cars is pretty cool as well. So I'm looking about here for the armor, not realizing where it was. Feel a bit stupid in hindsight, I should have realized, but never mind. Go around the side of the building, I'm still in search of the body armor. Where's it at? Where's it at? Oh, it must be around here. No, it's not. And I realise, oh, it must be up high. To cover on the wrong side of the crater there. Crater? <laughs> it's not a crater. <laughs> it's a container. That's what I was going to say. So this round started pretty bad as well. I haven't got a kill yet, I don't think. But I have had three missed shots. Climbing onto the containers again. Somebody else killed him, luckily. And I realised, oh look, there's a load of people here and I'm fully focused on what's in front of us. Don't pay any attention to what's to the side of us. And once again, I'm dead. And I completely forgive you if you think that I'm playing terribly, because I really was. Wave 4 and I've already died, I think, four times. Finish that round with six kills. Absolutely terrible. So I start this round and I'm thinking already, right, I need that body armor. I keep going down really fast, so we'll work out where it is. I see the ladder, happy days. Straight to the top, pick up the body armor. And it's something that I would always recommend. It makes such a big difference. Uh, it probably makes sense to all of you, but I'd been neglecting the opportunity to pick it up at the start of the rounds, and that's the price that you pay. I mean, I've, I've died so many times. So now I'm paying attention to the minimap, making sure the bad guys are in front of us so that I'm actually in cover. Uh, and whenever I think there's somebody behind us, there we go, having a look, making sure that I'm still safe. Decided to move to a different position because, I mean, ultimately, dying is no good for the team. Uh, one of the rounds that I played, I tried to get in cover and ended up, I took cover against the fence and ended up uh, losing the majority of my health. Sometimes I think snapping into cover, like there, it, it pushed us straight onto the wall where I was and I wanted to be on the edge and sometimes you want to be where you are and you end up on the edge and sometimes it can be a bit confusing but it doesn't matter. 
think in the live commentary I actually gave him a name, but I can't remember what it was. <laughs> the uh, NPC cops tend to say some pretty funny things. So here, teammate died, I'm starting to think, oh, looking at that, we're about just over halfway through this wave. That was absolutely terrible and nearly lot cost us my life. We treated a little bit, picked up some health. Another thing that I do a lot is reload after every single shot, and that gets you in trouble pretty often as well. You need to make sure you're getting the kills, not the reloads. And there's another teammate gone. So it's me and somebody else at this point. Still quite a few to go. Drop the weapon. Took some shots, didn't even know where from. So luckily snapped to him pretty quick on the auto aim. And at this point I'm thinking that's disaster there. You know, I don't want to be the last one standing. You don't want me to be your last man standing either because nine times out of ten that happens. And that was it. We failed on round five, was it? Yep, we're five. And I think I died five times, so absolutely horrendous. Very, very bad performance. But I learned a lot from it, and hopefully I'll be able to be better in the future. I went straight to replay the map, and I would have kept recording it, but it seemed as if nobody else was interested, so... That's it guys, so thank you very much for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you want to see more videos, and until next time guys, stay awesome.